Breaking news. We have new developments in the deadly shooting of a student at Arapahoe High School that happened two years ago. So a report was just released today saying several mistakes were made by the school involving the shooter before this deadly incident. Student Claire Davis was killed in this attack back December of 2013. So Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez has been going through this report. And Lance, this investigation was pretty extensive. Very extensive, Kelly. The report was compiled by CU Center for the Study and Prevention of Violence and UNC's Department of Criminal Justice. It revealed three major failures within Arapaho High School and Littleton Public Schools in the months and years leading up to the shooting. A failure of information sharing, failure of threat assessment, and failure of systems thinking. Claire Davis was shot and killed by Carl Pearson on December 13, 2013. Pearson then killed himself. The report says Littleton Public Schools did not use infinite campus to document behavioral and safety concerns, failed to train students and staff in an anonymous reporting system like Safe to Tell, and failed to share information about students of concern with law enforcement and other agencies. The report says LPS failed to validate its threat assessment tool and process and didn't have staff-wide training on the threat assessment or adequate follow-up and safety planning. The report says there was not just one major failure, but a series of incremental failures. And that LPS failed to get a handle on Carl Pearson's problems, in spite of the fact that there were many warning signs and many opportunities. Now, in a news release just issued, LPS says it entered into arbitration with the Davis family to better understand the events that led up to the shooting and the district's response. The district has taken steps to examine and improve its processes and procedures.